the old world is ending because it's time for a new world to begin. You can help create this world. No matter who you are, no matter what you do, you can help. The world is ending. There are endless symptoms of an overall process of organic disruption, which has brought us to the brink of irreparable destruction. We currently use fossil fuels to power machines, which we use to extract raw materials, transport them, and process them into technology and useful products. When those products are no longer useful, we discard them, which requires more resource use and allows them to leach harmful heavy metals and other pollutants into the environment. By satisfying our own needs in this way, we continue to erode the global immune system and release more carbon dioxide, which traps heat and warms the planet. In addition to this heat, the built environment, not including trash, now outweighs all organic life on Earth. There is a totally different pattern we can follow, one in which carbon is captured using renewable energy to construct technology and other useful things using water, sunlight, and the minerals available in the immediate environment. In this pattern, once something breaks, we can throw it away, and it simply degrades. The good news is that this pattern already exists, and this pattern is what we call a plant. Plants are able to make a great variety of highly complex structures. These structures can be produced at a very large scale and can be replicated endlessly from just one branch or root or seed with a small investment of time and effort. Plants can also be altered in form and function by people and have been for generations by traditional breeding methods. Genetic engineering is expanding our ability to do this work, but we know that using it has changed and will continue to change the face of our world forever. Capitalists currently exploit copyright claims on this technology to gatekeep it for their own benefit. Yet we know for a fact that we are in the midst of a global extinction event and we are losing our capacity to preserve nature as humans once knew it. Grafting in plants is another technique which extends back generations. A limb from one tree can be grafted onto the trunk of another and be supported and survive. This is possible between genetically distinct trees of the same species and even trees of entirely different species. This compatibility would allow us to integrate new types of trees into old types physically. With devices made from plant tissue, we can create networks in this way, in much the same way you plug a device into the wall to charge. I have called this kind of technology plant-based technology in the past, but in order to distinguish it from traditional technology made using plants as raw materials, I will call it fruit punk technology going forward. For followers of the channel, you will have seen many examples of how this could look. There are many enabling technologies which would be required to make something like a Bluetooth speaker grow out of a plant, and the focus of my life has been to learn how to make this possible. There are three things you can do right now to bring about this new reality. The first is to talk about it, share this video, write about it, draw about it, add your voice to a wave for the survival of humanity and hope for the future. The second is to experiment, grow plants, work with them, learn to graft them together, make shapes with them, talk to them, see what you can make and share it with those around you. The third thing you can do is support me through Patreon or by purchasing my art through my website. My ongoing mission is to share this idea and to help make it a reality, both as a biologist and as an artist. By supporting me, you'll not only be helping me make more videos about fruit punk technology, but I'd also to continue experimenting and innovating on this network of ideas. I have a diploma in biotechnology from BCIT, and I'm currently in my final semester of an undergraduate degree in microbiology and immunology from UBC. I've worked as a scientist for two and a half years, imaging plant hormones and studying their role in developing the structures of conifer buds, studying plant-microbe interactions and how plants distinguish beneficial from pathogenic bacteria, and this summer I've been learning how to clone genes from other organisms into plants. When I graduate, I will work as a lab technician and make videos in my spare time, because it's what I love to do, and because it's my way of giving back to everyone who has taken the time to hear my story, and everyone who has helped me become who I am today. The title of this channel is Symbiosister, a play on symbiosis, or the close association of very different organisms, and sister. While sister is a gender term, it is meant to convey solidarity, the solidarity of organisms which share a common ancestor, and it is not exclusive to women in this sense, but rather to all life on Earth. By joining me on this journey and choosing this path forward, you are a symbiosister, one among a growing network of symbiosisters. Another world is possible.
and this is what it looks like.